in the testing room. And we're finally going to go ahead and do a, a cheaper random navigation robot. This is the Eufy 25C. I absolutely raved about this guy last year. I picked this up from Walmart around Black Friday last year for $99. And at that price, if you want a vacuum just to clean certain rooms at a time or you have a small apartment, it is an absolute no-brainer. This guy thoroughly impressed me. And it's probably one of the best robots I tested out last year for a budget robot vacuum. So we're like I said, we're back in the testing room. We put down exactly 7.6 ounces of debris consisting of white rice, fruity pebbles, fruit loops, and a little bit of sand. So of course this is a pickup test. I weighed the bin before this test and we're gonna weigh it after. And we'll see exactly how much it picks up. Being as that this is a random navigation robot, these don't typically have a time setting, if that makes sense. Some of the higher end ones have cameras and lidars. They'll go all around the room and clean basically the entire room one time because it follows a line and then it's done. This bounces off the walls and goes over the debris several times and then it pretty much just goes back once the battery's low and then it'll call it quits. So I'm going to let these, any of these random navigation ones, I'm going to let them run for 40 minutes exactly. I'll come down and stop them. And then we'll see exactly how much it picks up after 40 minutes. Because some of these can go up to an hour and a half without recharging. And that's just a little bit overkill for this size of a room. So I predict that this $100 vacuum is going to pick up in 40 minutes the most debris yet out of the five robots I've done this test. And I'll show you at the end what those other robots did. But I think this guy's going to do amazing in a small room like this. These random navigation robots really impressed me, once again, because they go over the same spot several times. So let me show you the mess. Once again, this is 7.6 ounces of the mixed debris, just thrown out of a bowl in random spots throughout this room. I also throw in a little bit of fake dog poop, just for fun. See exactly what it does if it runs it over or kind of bumps out of the way and goes around it. And every single robot vacuum has been different with what it does. You can see quite a bit of a mess. But I think in 40 minutes this thing is gonna this is gonna look impressive. I really do believe that. Could be wrong, but we shall see. That's the whole point of doing all these tests. So this, once again, this is a Eufy 25C. This one does have a carpet boost mode. So when it detects carpet, it'll automatically increase suction, therefore doing a better job cleaning on the carpet. All right, as you can see, I got the RoboVac ready to roll, fully charged. I'm gonna put it on automatic. And we'll see how the good this guy does. I really think this is gonna do really good. But I have been wrong before, believe it or not. No. So right off the bat, you can see the difference between this one and anything with a camera or a LiDAR. Because you'll always see those start with either a perimeter sweep or they'll just start going straight out and then come back with a line right next to where they went out. This just bounces off the walls completely randomly but it does a very good job cleaning because it'll go over that same exact spot probably five plus times in this test. Whereas the smart robot vacuums will literally go over it one time. And I, another thing I love about this robot, it is so quiet. Look at that, just sucked up a jelly bean like no problem. You might be thinking, oh whoop de doo, a jelly bean. A lot of robot vacuums have trouble with jelly beans. So I'm gonna let this go. I got my overhead shot going. We'll speed that up and uh, we'll see how good this guy does. I have super high hopes. I keep saying that, but I really love this vacuum for a hundred bucks. I even gave my mom one for her birthday last year and she loves it as well. Alright, I'll be back. If you're new, please do me a huge favor smash that like button, consider subscribing. I got about 20 robot vacuums or so I'm gonna be putting through this as of now. Plenty more coming in the future. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. See you. guys the UFI 25 c has been going for about 40 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and send them home let's take a look at how good it cleaned I wasn't down here watching it but I'll check the overhead shot when I edit but if you ask me these floors look really really quite good especially on this thick carpet I think this one's going to be the winner so far. Like it looks really clean on all the carpets. See how the tile looks. Tile looks really good too. Missed a little bit in the corners here. It's more because of those thresholds. 
Did miss a, a jelly bean and a decent amount of rice over there, so I guess it flicked it over there. But other than that, it looks quite impressive, and this is why I was raving about it last year for a hundred dollars. If you have a room this size, or even a couple rooms that you don't mind having, like shutting the door and having to clean the room, and then move it to another room and then shutting the door, this thing does amazing. So quite impressed, once it parks, we will weigh the bin and see how well it did in this test. What do you guys think from, from what you can see? I think it's gonna be quite impressive. Could be wrong, but never know. Okay. Got my, once again, professional Look how much more professional it is. Professional weighing system. So I weighed the bin before this test and it was 9.1 ounces. Here's the other ones that have done this test. The Dbot TA Plus picked up 6.3. The amazing Shark IQ picked up 4.7. And let's see how this guy does. Fifteen point six ounces total. So when you do the math, it picked up. So it got six point five ounces total, which is quite good. And as of right now, this guy is winning for a hundred dollar robot vacuum. Pretty good, if you ask me. All right, guys, what do you think? Did you think the hundred dollar robot would pick up more than the Dbot TA Plus? Pretty surprising. Did you think it would beat the Shark IQ? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed that at all, please do me a huge favor, smash that like button, consider subscribing. I've decided to go ahead and open up a Patreon page. Uh, if you like my videos and want to support me, any money I make on that will go 100% back into this channel to buy the newest and greatest tech related items, robot vacuums, all that good stuff. And I would really appreciate it. I'll, I'll throw a link down in the description if you want to click it and check it out. I would really appreciate it. You absolutely do not have to use that, but I would definitely appreciate it. Alright guys, you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.